people be born gay? That is the debate that is going on with homosexuality. Then there are some arguments that, oh, it could be acquired. Why there is an argument that there could be genetic predisposition to it? Can, Just we, can we compare that? Can one be born gay to uh, people? Uh, there are some people that are born to be thieves. It's something like that. Uh, like, you can never say that in, in behavior, okay, you can't say f that it is purely biological or purely environmental. That has been the main debate in psychology, nature, nurture. And we are coming to a time now. You might have the genetic predisposition to acting in a particular way, like being a thief, but your upbringing, which is a product of your nurturing, could stop that from coming up. Like, if you told the argument of Sigmund Freud, if we all are bisexual, that means we have the tendency of becoming gay. But the prevailing circumstances in our environment, we either suppress it or bring it up. So you wouldn't say 50% is gay, uh, uh, nurture, 50% is what? No, there is an interaction between nature and nurture. Yeah, when, when, when you say <coughs> it's no longer a disorder, maybe uh, perhaps uh, you could just... Uh, uh, break that word down for us. What do you mean by a disorder so that we can then say uh, if uh, okay. this is just uh, another issue away from uh, a disorder? All right. In psychology, as we study abnormal patterns of behavior and we have various definitions, okay, because it can't pin it down on one. Now, a more concise definition of abnormal behavior is any uh, cognitive emotional or behavioral dysfunction that is unexpected in any context that is capable of causing what personal distress as well as what impaired function to any individual is a dysfunction now we have various models of looking at what is abnormal from the sociological model which we have criticized a lot that saying if any of your behavior deviates from your, the norm the societal norm it becomes abnormal but then the criticism there is who are the people that are setting the standard for these norms so if if somebody could say okay this is what we want what right has the person to say this is what the society should do it becomes another thing now there is another model we call the nuisance model Nuisance model equates abnormal behavior to any behavior that is ca capable of causing what? Distress or has a nuisance value in terms of political, social, economic to any other person. Then it has its own shortfalls as well. Okay. They, they, let's talk about having a personality disorder. Does it also apply to those uh, who are uh, homosexuals, for instance, uh, you see yourself as uh, maybe a particular sex when uh, in outlook you just nod it. For instance, you're a man and you just uh, view yourself uh, as, a uh, as a woman. It's a category we call sexual identity disorder. We've had several of them. I usually have uh, like the paraphilias. Okay, these are disorders that people actually, just like every other disorder, it, it might come on you or you might acquire it uh, maybe during the process of your uh, socialization and other things. Now, we have transvestite. Okay, we just say they are trapped in the wrong body. And you could see some of them going to do what? Surgery. Because they feel they can't live being having a female organ, but being feeling like a man. It's a feeling thing now. And that's why, after a while, we've had several of them that did transsexual uh, 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 surgery. Okay? So, because they feel that they are inside them, they are feeling like a woman, but they have the organ of male. Mm. What about those who are born with, you know, um, with organs of, of both, both male, and, male yes. and female? Now, we had one. Uh, at my center there at Lutz the other day. Yes. We did our physical examination. He has both male and female organs. So there are other tests we need to do to determine which one supersedes. Okay? Do they yeah. exhibit the same, you know, do they exhibit characters of both, of both sexes? They do. But one will always tend to dominate. Okay, that is the nature of this thing. Like this young, he was trained to be a boy. But he had two ovaries, 
okay he has an, uh, an opening not truly really defined as a female genitalia but there's also uh, another male genitalia there so we have to determine the internal uh, organ and the constituent to know which one dominates he has always, uh, he has always already been trained to be a man but from our investigation he had more female organs hemophrodite yes but then surgery could be done to correct it but in terms of his behavior he's already acting like a man when we suggested okay the psychological aspect of it and what you feel more comfortable being to him already he's acting like a man so he was favorably disposed to being a man but we looked at it okay these are uh, you have more female uh, organs than that. Of In other male. words, if you were going to carry out surgery on yeah. you, it would be easier for us to achieve. It would be easier for us to make you female than than male. It would be easier to make a female than male, but his orientation and feeling is like that of a man. So if you do that, he will be acting like a man. Meanwhile, trapped in the female body. But the, when you did that test, um, did you do a hormonal? Test. That is part of how we get to know which one dominates. The, some of the hormonal tests we wrote out it, we, because some of them were not being done in Nigeria, so we gave them samples to go to South Africa. We go back to this feelings of uh, some people who think they they have preference for uh, people of same sex. Uh, can this feeling be suppressed? Can it be worked on? Can it be changed? And if it can't, how well can they possibly live with it? The feeling in some people could be changed. That's what I talked about. The ego, the stonic, that is, is not congruent with their personality. Those ones are looking for help. They are crying for help. All they need to do is to come to professionals that will put them through. Like, yes, I managed the one I told you earlier, which I, I wrote, I put up an article on. And I discovered that he actually went ahead to marry, but was bringing men to sleep why the wife was in the bedroom, he was sleeping with men in the parlor. The wife kept on stumbling into them and wasn't feeling happy. So it was going to cause a lot of problems, like marital discord. So when I came in, I, es I explored him, I assessed, I discovered that, okay, situation has f f forced him to go and get married. He's more of a homosexual than a hetero. Okay? Now, I did a lot of motivational talking, letting him see, okay, you've gotten into this implication. Along the line, he started having a change of heart. Because if they are not motivated, there's nothing they're going to do. So when I saw that motivation to become a real man or a, a, a heterosexual, okay, I, I started the change. How yeah. rampant are these cases that <coughs> you're getting now? Is it has it increased in the last year or so? Or last like in the last years? two years, yes. Before that, nobody comes to you to complain about such issues because of stigma. But some of them are becoming bold enough to seek for help. Okay. You think that more of them should seek for help? And those ones that think they are trapped in the wrong body or they are feeling differently from the way they are now could was for some no they will tell you categorical that nothing is wrong with them they are I've, born have you met them. anybody that they, they looks like they were born that way i've met one told me that he was born to be gay he told he me. told, he told you, me but from, I, from I what you saw yes you know from any other thing where you can you tell aside he's telling you yes. that this is how he was actually made that, that is exactly what we see like, oh, from our theories okay you can't see that you are born to be gay you can't the circumstances or whatever he must have been told because he started giving me history of when he was growing up okay he was always like a uh, like feeling like a female okay getting attracted to whatever female playing with females all those female games and female toys that was his uh, analysis okay but i told him no we have what is called effeminate or effeminism okay it doesn't make you what a homosexual because there are so many effeminates that are not what gay so there are two different things but because of the understanding they had growing up so he was he was not feeling as if he was born to be gay 
So it was it behoved for me now to educate him properly. Okay, to know whether he will now have a change of heart. So the B or the B or uh, or in final statement, if you want, you ask again. If I would you say being gay is a decision? It's a product whether, of so many things. Whether internal or external decision, but it's a decision. Uh, well, is it really a decision or a process that led to? Okay, a, like I told you, yeah, the tendency of having some hormones running in you, and then the environment and circumstances or situation you've passed through could predispose you. Like uh, psychologically speaking, now I, I go back to the Norwegian yes. uh, who killed uh, a whole lot of people. Uh, do do you think gays are menace to society? Are they harmful to the, to the society? I don't think they are harmful to the society. Like we've had so many of them in this country. Have you heard of any problem they are causing? Uh, it's their choice, okay? It's their orientation to be gay. You're not worried about the fabric of community, the fabric of family, and all those sacred norms that we hold dear. Every, to be frank with you, every family has a secret. Most families, incest is going on. Is anybody hearing me? Outside. Okay, so if you are talking about protecting the family, how far has the society protected the individual? Because if this person feels he's gay and there's nothing they're going to do about it, it's going to cause me a lot of distress, you know that. So, and this distress could translate into other behavior that might be what? Detrimental to the society. It's like you are restricting them. Okay? Um, being that it hasn't caused Nigerian society a major problem, because I don't think anybody will come out and accept that, oh, some people... <laughs> I might feel that their, uh, their behavior could be insulting to the eye or, or this is that is the only thing people can say that is a problem with it but in terms of emotionality in terms of predisposing them to developing psychopathology no so they are also productive uh, as uh, heterosexuals yeah. they are as productive as heterosexual